Self-care has always been an important component of healthcare. The concept was formalised and defined by this WHO statement in the early 1980s. The Australian Self-Care Alliance is an association of policy experts, consumers and professional industry and government groups with the common belief that all Australians will benefit if this concept of self-care is better understood and firmly embedded into healthcare policy. The International Self-Care Foundation in London identified the seven pillars of self-care for individuals actions that individuals could take to improve their own health. However, at the Alliance, we believe that self-care is more than just a set of individual tools. Both healthcare practitioners and the healthcare system need to be aligned to ensure that individuals are encouraged and assisted to practice appropriate self-care. So we're looking to drive change amongst individuals, healthcare practitioners, and in the healthcare system as a whole. Our work has been led by Professor Rosemary Calder of the Mitchell Institute at Victoria University. Rosemary and her team identified nine priority policy proposals to make self-care an integral part of Australia's health and care system and publish them in a policy blueprint document last year. I'll just highlight a couple of these. Firstly, improving health literacy for all. This means understanding the drivers of good health and a long life and how to put them into practice. Building self-care into healthcare practice. Well, as a pharmacist and farms electorate at UTS, I've been promoting self-care skills amongst pharmacists for many years. Now we're looking to the other caring professions to catch up. We want to turn around the doctor I'm sick make me well paradigm so that Australians take a greater responsibility for their health care and use clinicians as counsellors as and when needed. Of course, digital health information, that's very much with us, isn't it? It's, well, we don't have a self-care app. However, we want to ensure that the apps that are out there include reliable evidence-based information. Investment in preventative health, of course, it's so important. We were delighted that when Health Minister Greg Hunt launched our, blue, our blueprint last October, he referred it directly onto the National Preventative Health Strategy. So thank you. I hope that you will support the work of the Alliance and contact us if there are opportunities to work together to implement self-care for all.